Hi everyone, this is Najat Khan. I'm the Chief Data Science Officer for Janssen R&D, the pharmaceutical companies of Johnson & Johnson. There's a few things that I would like to cover. One, just broadly speaking, some real examples of how we are leveraging AI, machine learning to truly transform how you discover and develop and bring medicines to patients. I think there's been a lot of promise, but translating that promise to actual impact, which we are doing and continuing to do at scale, is something that I'm very excited to speak about. And an example of that is actually the work that we did on the COVID-19 vaccine. You know, we, we from the very get-go had made a strategic decision that this was going to be a global program. Again, it's a global pandemic. But then also we wanted to ensure within um, the countries we're in that we have a really good distribution of the different sort of racial, ethnic, and even socioeconomic diversity that I think is critical. And to do that, we used AI and machine learning to predict not just where the right hotspots would be, where we anticipated there to be high incidence. We also ensured that we over-indexed on areas based on data that had high levels of, you know, just high diversity, both African-American, Latinx, et cetera. We worked with Dr. Dimitri Bertimus at MIT, and it was a great partnership to be able to use both, you know, what I would say traditional, you know, epidemiological models and data, but then also a lot of consumer social mobility, um, and other forms of data sets and also diversity index data sets to combine those to be able to predict better where we thought these hotspots would be. The predictions were over 90% accurate, so really, really high at a county level. We're not talking about country or state at a county level. One consequence of going to areas and predicting four months in advance where those precise areas across the world would have high incidence is that you also end up seeing more variants where there's a lot of proliferation of the disease. The predictions led us to countries such as South Africa, also to go to Brazil, not just Rio and Sao Paulo, but some secondary cities as well. There was an outbreak of these new variants while we were running the trial and then allowed us to have data on these variants. It actually helped accelerate our timeline for our trial, which is huge in a pandemic. Every day counts. And then also, like I mentioned, helped us have a really diverse and rich data set and then also data for, for variants that are that make this vaccine not just relevant for now, but in the near future, because that's really what we are facing. We're constantly innovating. We're already thinking about what's the next generation that we need. So I think it just, it not only helps us, it helps the entire industry and the entire scientific community in terms of better testing the current vaccines and then actually being able to make, you know, better ones going forward.